Good morning, everyone. Well, a cold front's going to be working over us this morning, and it's going to lead to a big difference in temperatures this afternoon compared to yesterday afternoon. So let's get to all the details in your Wednesday forecast presented by MG&E. Now, what's unique about today's cold front is it's going to be working in from the northeast and moving to the southwest. Normally, they come in from the northwest and move southeast. Not today. Today, northeast to southwest. So the coolest temperatures are going to be to the north and east and the warmest temperatures to the south and west. In fact, Check out right next to the lake. We're talking about highs today, just in the mid to upper 50s, and it's not going to be feeling that warm. It's going to be a breezy day, gusts around 25 miles per hour, so it's actually going to be feeling like the low 50s right next to the lake. So that's what you need to be prepared for this afternoon. Now, with winds out of the northeast behind this cold front, as you go to the south and west, those chilly lake waters having less and less of an impact. So hot as chilly, but certainly cooler than yesterday. Check out Watertown, Beaver Dam, Portage. Looks like only the mid 60s, then an area of upper 60s, low 70s, and probably still reaching the mid 70s, Platteville and Boscobel, but still cooler than yesterday. Now it does look like this cold front coming through with no rain. An increase in cloud cover, we're gonna call it a partly cloudy day, but no chance of rain with this front. It looks like still partly cloudy skies tonight and below normal temperatures for this time of year. Not way below normal. We should be averaging lows in the low 50s instead. A lot of us getting down into the mid 40s at the warmest. We're talking upper 40s and still got to mention on the breezy side, especially this evening, but even late tonight, early tomorrow morning when we're hitting these low temperatures, Winds are still going to be 10, 15 miles per hour. So, still got to say, take about five degrees off these temperatures, and that's what it's actually going to be feeling like. So, what about tomorrow? Well, looks like kind of a repeat uh, for the northeastern half of the area. Notice those upper 50s, mid 60s, but got to mention for the southwestern half of the area, though not dramatically cooler, it does look like a little bit cooler tomorrow. Uh, then today, I think the day is going to start with partly cloudy skies, but eventually skies will become sunny. No chance of rain and still breezy, not quite as breezy as the day, but I still think gusts uh, around 20 miles per hour. So making it feel a little bit cooler than we'd like for this time of year. Uh, also, if you're wondering about our next rain chance, you know, it's good news for uh, Memorial Day weekend. Doesn't look like our first chance of rain is until Monday night and it's looking like a small chance of rain for now. And finally, before we wrap up, the U.S. continues to see more and more billion-dollar weather disasters. And on this week's episode of the Across the Sky podcast, we're diving into why that is. What kind of extreme weather events are behind this rise and where are they occurring more frequently? You can check out the podcast below this video or wherever you get your podcasts.